when I cast Deliverance, John Bormer said to me, I want you to look for an albino boy for the scene with the dueling banjo. And when I arrived in Clayton, Georgia, the man assisting me down there, he kind of owned the town, little town. He took me over to the schoolroom and I looked in the window and sitting there was a kid. He had a very odd look and manner. It seemed to belong in the environment of the film. I ran out to the phone and I called John Burma and I said, I have found the answer, I believe. And he said, Lynn, is he an albino? And I said, well, no. I told you I wanted an albino. I want you to keep looking. I remember the day that Billy Joe Redden came in, nearly all of us were saying, well, this is, this is the kid, I and mean, it has to be. Finally, John said, all right, let's go with that boy. Talk about genetic deficiencies. Not pitiful. He couldn't speak very well. He had a kind of strange dyslexia. When he tried to talk, he was going to be one of the ads, sound old, 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 John said, I think we're not going to be able to use Billy. I can't really connect with him. I begged John, I said, let, let me spend some time with Billy. At first, we'd spend the afternoon of him looking off in the woods and me sort of, but the, I sort of remember the day he was telling me about these kids. He said, they all call me squinty eyes. He said, next time bitch call me squinty eyes, I'm going to kill that son bitch. Then he put his arm around me. And he said, except you, Ronnie, you can call me squinty eyes if you want to say I like you good. <laughs> From then on, we were like best buddies. It was so... <sighs> that scene is one of the most exciting scenes I've ever seen on film.